Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for an apartment renovation. Um, so usually when I do apartment renovations, um, unless I absolutely completely 100% struggle with the floor plan, I try to include those. And I'm sorry I didn't include me, you know, figuring out the floor plan for this apartment. The reason is because um, I don't I don't even know when I did this floor plan. I was planning on doing an apartment renovation, so. I was like going through the apartment trying to figure out which one I wanted and I noticed that this one I had already started. I had the floor plan, the flooring and everything, but I don't know, for some reason I just never finished it, never even really started it. So I decided to go in and finish this one, you know, save me a little bit of time from struggling with a floor plan. So this floor plan is actually like a little bit different than what I've ever done for this apartment. The Spice District is one of my favorite apartments, or not apartments neighborhoods in San Mashuno. Um, I don't know why, I just, I like them. They're my favorite, but uh, I've, I've built in this one a lot, but I've never done this floor plan. And um, I like it. It's different. That's my phone. <laughs> but the only thing that just, it kind of bothers me, but it's really not that big of a deal is that it's two bedroom and it's two bath. So there is an ensuite bathroom to one of the bedrooms. And then there is, you know, a bathroom for like guests and everything else but it's nowhere near the bedroom <laughs> that you know you would think that that sim would use since they are not you know living in or staying in the ensuite bathroom bedroom if that makes sense so it's kind of as soon as you walk through the front door there's like a little entryway and the bathroom's over there so i mean it's kind of out of the way but I don't know it's different and i like it but i love how this apartment turned out um it was a lot easier for me to get a flow going. Um, I didn't have any Sims in mind that I wanted, but I did have the style apartment in mind that I wanted to go for. And so the style I was going for, I don't really know how to explain it, but the Spice District isn't the wealthiest, you know, neighborhood in San Mashuno. And when I build in the Spice District, I kind of like to portray that in the apartments. Most of the apartments need TLC. You know, like this one has the rat hole, so you're going to have some little vermins coming out unless you use the lot trait cheat to, you know, fix that. But anyways, they're not in like the best condition, but you can make them look really nice. So I use the new floor that came with Get Famous. Um, I think it's kind of kind of like the, the floor that you would use on stage kind of get that little green hue kind of looks scuffed up I really really like that um, I don't know it just kind of gave me that vibe that you know it's it's not the best quality stuff you know um, but yeah I don't know I just think it turned out so nice it's decorated very nicely very homey but it's it's not a lot of money I don't even remember what the total of this apartment was it's definitely not a starter apartment but it's it's realistic for the district that it's in so when I started furnishing the bedrooms I decided that I was kind of furnishing this house for two roommates um, I see it being two girls but it's not too girly you could definitely have like a boy and a girl live there um, a, a married couple a young newlywed couple maybe one bedroom is a guest room but I definitely was thinking about two sims that were friends and I don't I don't know I think it's just because I'm so anxious for university but Lately, when I've been building, <laughs> I've been thinking of these Sims like, oh, maybe they're in college. And I, I've said it so many times, but I just really, really, really hope that they give us the option to stay at home and still go to college. Um, you know, where you don't have to move away and live on the college town. You have the option, just like you have the option to either go to work with your Sims or stay home and do activities, you know? So that's kind of what I hope that they bring to us. I don't see why it would be a problem since it's kind of an option already when it comes to working, you know, in The Sims 4. So we'll see, but I just think it's so realistic. And I could definitely see these two Sims, maybe they're friends from um, childhood, from high school or whatever. I definitely see them, you know, maybe interning in their careers if, you know, we don't, so if you wanted to download this, we definitely don't have um, college right now or university, but you can definitely say that they're just now starting out in their careers. Um, they're not very high up there 
as far as their careers, you know what I'm saying? So they don't have like a lot of money and they're, they're struggling a little bit, but you know, it's okay. This house is really, or not this house, this apartment is really nice. And I did imagine that one of them would have a cat. Um, I always, when I do apartments, I tend to usually, I'm definitely a dog person, but when I do apartments, I definitely t lean more towards like cats just because I feel like apartments are more cat friendly. Um, especially if it's an indoor cat, you know, <laughs> dogs, you have to take them outside and walk them. I feel like dogs need a big yard to run in. And I know you can take them walking on the streets, but like, I'm not from the city, so I don't know. People, my people in the cities, like big cities, like New York, something like that, or in another country, do people walk their dogs, like on the sidewalk, say, you're walking your dog to the park. Say you live like right down from the park. Do you walk your dog like on this? Is, is that normal or do you like get a taxi, put the dog? Like, I'm not familiar with it because I don't live in the city. <laughs> but I just imagine that, you know, it'd be a little bit difficult. And I know people in the city have dogs, but I, I think that they're usually more smaller dogs, which sometimes, you know, okay, yeah, you can put a small dog um, in an apartment. I know that on the balcony, I've seen people's balconies they have like the fake grass for their dogs to use the bathroom on which is really cool but we don't have that in the sims 4 so i typically tend to go for cats but anyways i hope you guys like what i did with the laundry y'all know me i'm always trying to include laundry um so with this floor plan i didn't really want to squeeze it in the bathrooms i didn't really want to squeeze it in the kitchen didn't really have an you know a little extra space for a spare little laundry room so i was thinking about not necessarily apartments. I've never been in an apartment myself where you walk in the entry and there is a washer and dryer there. But I do live really close to the beach and I've stayed in lots of condos on the beach. And I do know that when you walk through those doors, usually um, the laundry room is by the door sometimes. So that's kind of why I decided that that wouldn't look too weird. And I sized down the little, um, what's that thing called? The little shelf thing that came with laundry i love that shelf i think it's so cute and um i sized that down just so it wouldn't be like too crowded i think it looks really nice um and then for this bedroom i don't know y'all i'm so out of breath <laughs> hope you can't like i hope gosh please because i've been having really bad luck when it comes to like my voiceovers and everything but i hope you can't hear me like struggling for air right now i'm currently <laughs> sitting in my car doing this voiceover because oh, if you follow me on Twitter you know I'm having trouble with the Wi-Fi where I live um and I just I can't find Wi-Fi anywhere like it takes like a long time to upload anything so I had to take my sister-in-law to uh work this morning because their cars broke down um so on my way back I'm going to my Nana's to hang out with her today you know maybe go shopping and do stuff like that but before i went over there i stopped at chick-fil-a to get me a chicken biscuit <laughs> and some orange juice and i'm sitting in their parking lot connected to my hot spot <laughs> because i have good signal out here in town so um that's how i uploaded my videos today so I, while i'm sitting here i have a little bit of extra time i'm doing this voiceover so I'm a little out of breath <laughs> because I just woke up. I just ate and um, I don't know. I just pregnancy. I'm out of breath. So I hope you don't hear me like <gasps> in the mic because I'm so sorry if you do. <laughs> but anyways, so for this bedroom here, um, this was the, it's not necessarily, I, I guess you would say it's the master bedroom because it has the ensuite bathroom. But I don't know. I imagine that the girl that lives in this room or her room um i don't know what her career would be but i definitely see it maybe doing something with um maybe like business or possibly um social media something like that so i kind of gave her a desk um kind of like the cluttered look i gave her some files you know just like work oriented stuff where she can definitely work from home but also you know to me it looks like a university student's desk which is why i want university so bad and i wish that we could live at home and stay in our apartments if we wish to because that's realistic and if not then whatever college world they give us 
please put apartments in it. Apartments is a thing for college students. It's not just dorms and sorority houses. Some people choose to get roommates and live off campus and yes, either a house. I know we usually get houses, but apartments. More likely apartments, or at least from where I'm from. So, yeah. I think her room is really nice. I tried to, obviously, keep the same, you know, flow, color scheme going throughout the house. So, um, yeah, I, I, the bathrooms look pretty similar, I guess you would say. Um, so, I mean, I don't usually build bathrooms right next to each other just because it kind of looks weird. But it's it's not that bad, you know. I just... I get sometimes too anal, and I need to not do that. Y'all feel me? Y'all know? Um, but anyways, y'all, hold on. I'm about to die. I need to take a sip of my orange juice. This is so unprofessional. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm sorry. Like, I, I just really needed it. <laughs> this is a uh, terrible voiceover, so don't mind me if you're still watching. Um, thank you. Wow. Um, if you are still struggling with me through this pregnancy... <laughs> I can't breathe. Why am I so out of breath? You would think that I just like ran a mile, but it's like talking puts me out of breath. Anyways, moving on from my struggle bus I'm on. Um, here we are in the other bedroom. So I kind of went back and forth with the color scheme that I wanted to do. I had the blue wallpaper because originally I was thinking I was going to do something like blue. Um, kind of to bring off like the blue in the living room on the pillows and in the rug and everything But I really really liked the brown bed or this brown color swatch in that bed, which that bed is my favorite um, So I ended up going with that and then I changed the wallpaper of course and as far as this sim I was thinking maybe seeing her in the vet career so you'll see when I do her desk I kind of included the cat anatomy scan because I imagine that the cat in the apartment would be hers. She's the animal lover. But then I didn't really like it um, just because I, if I was to ever play in this house, I love the vet, you know, the option to own your own vet. I think that's really cool, something we've never had before. But I just wish that they would have given us the option to have that career without actually having to go there. Just like, owning your own business why do you have to go to the business every day to work you know it just i don't like that it doesn't make sense i think they should fix that they should give us an update and fix that but anyways yeah i was thinking maybe her being a vet but then i was like no because i don't know maybe people don't like to do that anymore so i changed it and i just put a nice little degree on the wall there just to prove that she's a little bit educated and so i definitely imagine her being maybe a doctor or a scientist or something like that specifically like a doctor you know she wants to be a nurse or something like that she's a little bit studious um and um I, I yeah that's that's what i did that's what i was going for um but anyways you guys um this voiceover is wrapping up so if you enjoyed be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not so with that being said i will talk to y'all later bye